Hello Max and here, welcome to the 29th video of my EU4 Sweden Let's Play. Uh, so during the last video, there was quite a lot of rebellions and religious turmoil. I currently still have the event religious turmoil in place, uh, but things are definitely coming under control. Actually upon restarting the game, uh, revolts don't seem to be all that much at all now actually. And even my money is uh, doing quite well. Not sure if that's going to change when I unpause uh, or not. I guess we'll find out quite soon. Uh, I think using the harsh treatments helped me out a huge amount in the last video. Because not only did it remove a lot of the uh, revolts entirely, or re uh, reduce them a lot. Uh, but it also basically increased my income to a large degree. Uh, you can see here, take for example this province. Uh, it's getting minus because of the revolt risk. Uh, so in a lot of provinces I used the harsh treatment on, my money was increased. And that really helped me to get through this period. Uh, the Reformation actually started in 1510. Uh, so the spread of uh, Protestantism event is getting to the point where it slows down a lot now. Uh, the first six years is where it's at its maximum. And it's still a, a lot by... Uh, after 12 years and then probably by about 25 after about 25 years you'll probably be unlikely to see any more uh, conversion spread of uh, Protestantism Protestantism events although I guess we'll find out in a bit uh, so yeah I'm gonna have to I'm still a long way away from religious unity uh, but I think it looks as if I've got enough money to start colonizing again and even start to think about future wars uh, hopefully at least right so um, I'll uh, get started and then pause uh, right so my fleet just reached Stockholm bring those over to there this fleet can uh, go and get this small army in Hamburg uh, so there's no decent missions at the moment Revolt risk doesn't seem to have changed. Uh, I'll be getting that idea relatively soon. I could increase my military tech now as well, but I think I'm going to keep this on hand for a tiny bit longer, uh, just in case I need uh, more harsh treatments. Maybe I should start colonizing then, actually. So I don't have any at all. Uh, yeah, let's start colonizing then. Uh, so my next colony is going to be... I should probably have a look at the colonial distance ranges. I think this, well, I'm trying to prevent England from colonizing in North America, so I want the nearest ones really at the moment. Uh, so I think I'm going to, I'm going to do, right, let's buy this idea. I get an extra colonist with this one. That's 360. I'm going to colonize here. Uh, I don't actually have any natives. Well, it's 500 natives, but it shouldn't be a problem in there. And I'm going to send one back to here. Uh, both of those are in this uh, northern colonial region. And after that I would only need one more to form a colonial nation once these two are done. Uh, I'm going to need some troops uh, over here in a minute. Okay. Uh, Trek has left the coalition. Good. Uh, What's the coalition status as well? Uh, should I be sticking my diplomat anywhere else? Uh, I don't know. Right, I'll keep them there for the moment though, I think. I'm almost done actually. Uh, what's the supply in Finland as well? Uh, it's 27, so I can't really put all my troops over here, I think. Uh, my maintenance isn't on at all. Should have more than enough to see where I can fit those there. I think I'm going to bring this... Oh, England's cancelled the trade embargo. That's really good news, actually. It's really starting to get worried about England declaring war on me. They have quite a strong alliance. So, I think it used to be just Portugal, but uh, certainly not just Portugal now. Uh, I'm going to stick those into Ireland. I think I'm going to take those over to the Americas. Okay. Uh, this can... 
What's that say? Oh, I've done the wrong uh, fleet here. Right, they can go to there. Where is my cog fleet? Right, they're actually going to Hamburg. Right, I'll have wait on those then. Uh, try to just cancel the trade embargo. I've won the Battle of Finland and the and the siege. I hope Moscovy doesn't stay there. Or I'm going to get a ton of attrition. Uh, I'm actually going to detach, move off, move those to there. Right. Conquistador just died. Not good news. Um, not going to hire a new one yet, though. Right, so move back there. Right. Uh, Hamburg. Right, so this can attach here. And he's up to Kinch. It would be very useful to wipe Denmark out just so I can get troops uh, over here without. Um, needing ships basically, or cogs. Defender of the Faith would increase the spread of Protestantism a tiny bit, but it's way too expensive, so I can't. Right, what the hell is Muscovy doing over here apart from killing troops unnecessarily? Um, it'd be a real pain. Uh, are they at war with anyone? No. Okay. Uh, so where are my cogs? They're moving up here, aren't they? So, just there. Chip Kinge, these can move to Stockholm. These cogs are moved back to Ireland. Actually, suffering attrition there as well. They can move there. Actually, move these to Stockholm there. Uh, Grand Ball in Stockholm. Uh. Prestige is actually going down a lot, and I don't know when the next war is going to come. Uh, so I'm actually going to pay for the prestige here and arrange the ball. Uh, we've discovered Gold Coast, Rich Stockholm. Okay, let's attach these. And these can make their way up to Reykjavik and then off to the Americas. I'm probably going to have to stick maintenance on as well. A little bit. War with uh, Provence. That's a weird war for Hungary. Uh, Stockholm. So Russians here. Yeah, still. Diplomats back from Burgundy. Uh, right, so who do I want? I think I'm really. The situation with Scotland is quite difficult. In one way, I want to get rid of them and annex them, so I've got a diplomatic relationship slot free. But uh, that would. England is so strong militarily that uh, I wouldn't mind having their troops around for a start. And actually, I wouldn't want to cause much aggressive expansion with England in our first war because they would join the coalition, and my coalition is big enough as it is. So I'd probably just want to force them to release nations, like Wales, Cornwall, um, the Irish nations, and Northumbria. So I think I'm going to improve relations with Scotland, but I still don't know if I'm going to annex them or not. Uh, if I had these two territories, I would be annexing them. But, yeah. At the moment, I don't know what to do exactly. Uh, I'm going to be getting expansion ideas probably next, which will increase my diplomatic relations slot, so I might be able to hang on to them. But I could really do with a, another ally or two, France, Burgundy or Castile. Alright, so Viborg, Tax Revolts. I should still be getting events for Religious Disorder as well with this. Um, I haven't looked in the event well, it's country modifiers in the event files. They're quite hard. I haven't looked at that part of the files. Uh, see what that does. Uh, spread of Protestantism. So this is still working. Uh, Trondlag has uh, converted. 
that's a circuit. And these can come down to here. I'm going to increase the maintenance for a tiny bit then. Uh, put that up to here-ish. Uh, colonies or overseas colonies have a much less chance of converting uh, with that event. So, right, they've uh, cancelled that. So actually destroying this colony probably wasn't that bad an idea actually earlier on since it would be quite hard to convert over. Uh, I've got three colonies that are Catholic in the area. Uh, right, Burgundy gives up Picardy. Picardy. And that's about it for that war. Okay, revolting. Vasta Goblins. Let's bring uh, these down to here then. Where's my leader to? I didn't put him on the ship, did I? Which maybe I should have done actually. Okay. <coughs> uh, colonization successful. Uh, right. And there's a good chance these are actually going to move over to. There. Are they moving already? Yes, they are. So I may have made a. Let's dock up in there quickly. Hans have just left the military coalition. I think they may have stayed in the co or um, wouldn't have taken over the war had they been in the coalition. Uh, if you remember that when Pomerania declared war on Teutonic Order, they didn't actually take over that, and they were stronger then because they had Hamburg as well. So, wouldn't have been a bad thing perhaps for them to be in a coalition since I really want to kill them off. Uh, they have, um, they dominate the trade here still, so. Oh, uh, there's uh, natives over here, or rebels. What's this fleet doing? Uh, these can. Actually, keeping the C zone so they've got somewhere to retreat to if I need them to. Get your enemy, Vest Scotland. Should win that. How close is that to rebelling? Uh, ages away. Might see if one there. I'll um, keep an infantry over here. So what's that? 5 to 4. Keep him there. They can get back the colony. We wipe them out. Uh, where are they off to? They're going to Haaland. Uh, more spread events. Excellent. Uh, Vasta Gotland has converted. Uh, so agent. Looks like uh, the hands are trying to cl make claims. Okay, revolt. Gotland. Right, that's a bit of a pain. I need to get my cogs back quickly. Are uh, they nationalists? The Catholic zealots who are allied to Utrecht. Right, so definitely need to get these back. Okay. There's no uh, straight access to Gotland, so there's nothing I can do about that without cogs. Right, so. Oh, that's a full colony now. But right, it's only needs one unit over here, I think. What's the revolt risk? At zero. Uh, so. Select army. I think I might leave cannon. Get it done quicker and that. Uh, these can go back on the boats. I can select the right ones. Uh, right. Probably need to put an infantry unit over there in a minute. Uh, go for St. Lawrence. Okay, these can move back to here. A bit risky moving them all away just in case they get attrition. Uh, 
Right. Oh. I should do this one, shouldn't I? Uh, one of the third. Right. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that yet. I want to concentrate on uh, the northern Canadian uh, na colonial nation region. Uh, diplomat arrived back from Austria. Uh, let's check out Muscovy. Uh, we're actually pretty good terms with them at the moment. Uh, Poland. 94. Pomerania. 94. England. 94. Burgundy. Right, let's get someone out of the coalition then. Uh, Bohemia. Yeah, all of these are going down nicely, actually. Uh, during the time where I was having economic, economical problems as well, uh, I'd forgotten that I had advisors, so I could have sacked those, but I'm quite glad I didn't now, actually, since I got through it. Um, right, so coalitions. Uh, can't get rid of those. Probably can't get rid of those. I'm not sure I can get rid of any of these. Galray. Might be able to get rid of those, right. Galray can never seem to get rid of those, so. Uh, Rich Stockholm. Uh, Russian still there, yeah. England just annexed Tyrone, so they own all of Ireland now. Uh, find out about Sao Tome. Uh, Fleet Riches, Iceland. That shows there. It's my maintenance still on, probably is actually. I'll bring those to there. I'll keep it on. Have more spread events, excellent. Uh, Halsinland. And Ivory Coast. Bornholm's about to be done as well. Looted has expired. Where's my fleet to? Just Stockholm. Uh, no to that. Might start to do three colonies in a bit, maybe, but not quite yet. Right, so uh, this kind of group up. 10 cogs. I'm going to have to rebuild my cog fleet as well. I actually want some more in a bit. Uh, three cannons. One, two, three calves. And one, two, three, four infantry. They can attach there. And move to Gotland. Actually, I'll put it there. Stick the maintenance on. Right. Okay, what month is it? Uh, when will I get there? Fourth of April, that's fine. Get the enemy. Cross in penalty, but my morale should just about be high enough to deal with these. Alright, wipe them out. Uh, they can move there. Uh, just. I think anything else is going on now. What's the revolt risks like? Actually, that's gone up a lot recently. Uh, put that down. My money's gone down as well, so I'm not sure what happened yet when I reloaded the game. I guess the calculations hadn't kicked in. Uh, right, so they can attach. This can move to there. Cogs can stay there then. Uh, missions, nothing good. Diplomat just arrived back from Galray. I'll probably give him a gift. Maybe just afford it. Uh, so, economic. No, I'll wait a bit on there. Uh, so I'll do Friesland. No, 
it. What's the hands are down to now? Hostile. Uh, we finally converted Bornholm. Right, so the province I want to do next is going to be... Probably want to do Shetland because there's Patriot Rebels there and getting to these islands is quite difficult. And it's low tax base so it'll be done quickly. I'm going to do Ireland because... Uh, it's not only quick because it's a low tax base and accepted culture. But it has a Swedish uh, province culture next door which will increase the spread of the Protestantism event. Right. Actually, if I... Not sure if I mentioned earlier, but I'll leave a link to uh, the wiki page so you can see all uh, what that event's like. So I know I've been mentioning it a heck of a lot in this uh, video in the last couple of videos. All right, so siege of Finland is over. Uh, these troops can move back to there. Uh, where are all my troops? Two thousand there. They're all in the right place. Money's off, isn't it? I think. Let's make a couple of cogs over here. Let's build ship. One, two. Alright. Actually, take a lot longer to build in the colonies, I believe. I probably should have built them in Iceland instead, maybe. Right, so Stockholm. Which there. the timer up. England just broke the lines with the hands there, that's brilliant. Okay. What's the diplo attack now? Still seven, great. England's actually been uh, changing the culture a lot of provinces. So I guess that's where the diplomatic power has gone to. Uh, so Siege of Kespec is over, and right, uh, I'll put up there actually, it might trigger the natives though, right, uh, native rising, Stacona, we lost four troops. Religious violence has ended in Finland. Uh, we've lost a great person. The artist guy. Uh, I probably wasn't going to increase my stability anymore. Um, so I'll hide a prestige guy. Right. Still haven't got that embassy. I've been meaning to build it for absolutely ages. So... Maybe start to save up for that. We've got naval supplies and Takuma Cook, or whatever it's called. Once that religious... I'm waiting on this to go now. And then I'll probably declare war on someone. Right, so that's a really awful event. Uh, uncooperative philosopher. Uh, so we have the option of lose one stability or lose 33 prestige. And prestige, well, trade power, morale, mercenary costs, spy defense, fort defense, yearly legitimacy and better relations over time. That's probably the most important one. Um, but to boost stability, I've got a religious unity. I think maybe that uh, religious turmoil may go after I've got uh, over 50% of my own religion, the state religion, I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, so there's no good option here, is there? Uh, so it would be about 207-ish, I think, to increase my stability. Again, uh, I'm actually going to lose the prestige then. Which is terrible, but I don't know, it's quite close actually, that decision. If I get in a war quickly, then I can increase and win it. Then I can uh, increase it very quickly, my prestige. So, Okay, there's a boat ship down over here. So I'll 
Uh, just a move that there. Oops. I'll move an infantry out. There, no new missions. No. I could even get Defender of the Faith. I think the downside is, though, I'd have to protect any Protestant nations that were attacked. Um, it would give me an extra missionary, though, spread the. Uh, Increase the event time on uh, that event for spread of Protestantism, but tech cost will go up. Not really going to be spending anything on tech for a while, apart from maybe the military tech. Right, but I'm not going to take it yet. I need the money. Good advice. Uh, Sweden gets possible advice is plus one for the next five years. There. So, not seeing any new ones there. Right now, I can. Don't think there's any particularly good ones there. I may even get a new military advisor. So, manpower, force limits. So, what is my force limit? Not actually over them. Manpower is nearly maxed out. I'll actually take this guy. I think it's just about worthwhile. Found more of Brazil. Uh, if we should take a... Take a whatever. And... Yeah, money is pretty awful again now. Right. What's this? Poland wants military access. Um, I'm going to say yes, I think. They are my ally. Could have uh, unintended consequences down the line, potentially. Whoa, that's a huge one. Hungary just converted to Protestantism. I knew they had quite a lot of their provinces converted over earlier on. They've gotten more since. Uh, France has got quite a bit. The Netherlands area has next to nothing now. Uh, it's probably because they had a lot of members in the Courier. Uh, Burgundy did, so that's going to slow their rate from the event. Uh, right, so, spread discoveries. Northern Atlantic. Right, so, uh, I think it's been about half an hour as well-ish. So, I'm going to call this an end of the video. Uh, so, next video, hopefully I can start that war. Uh, religious unity is nearly over 50% now. Which I think might get rid of the uh, this event. Maybe. I'm not sure though. Uh, so... Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.